But today, anyway, I wanted to go over how to do some knots. So we're going to start off with some very simple stuff, and then we're going to move on and progress through. It's going to be a short live, but we're going to start off with the very simple thing. We're going to do what's called the overhand knot, okay? All right, bear with me. All this has, it works together. So we got string, just regular string. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do an overhand knot, okay? That's simple. Now the overhand knot is used in many applications, or I believe it or not, it's used as a stopper knot for your stop knot, stuff like that. But an overhand knot right here, you can also use it to stop your, your string from fraying and all that good stuff. So now from that, we're gonna do another overhand knot called the overhand loop knot. And I am a big advocate of this. I've used this compared with the bowling and uh, I use both of them, you know, but I mainly go to the overhand loop knot and we're gonna use this and then we're gonna make what's called a marline spike hitch. So we're gonna double your rope over. All right, this is plastic rope. This is that cheap plastic boat rope or whatever but and sometimes the knots don't work too well with it, but we're using that for demonstration today. So you're gonna double your rope over like this and you're just essentially gonna do an overhand knot, but it's gonna create a loop like that. And that's called overhand loop. So you got an overhand loop knot. Now we're gonna turn this overhand loop knot into a marline spike hitch. You have to have a toggle okay you gotta have a toggle so we're gonna come right over here and we'll do it where y'all can see you're gonna come around your tree and you're gonna take this in uh, this side of your rope and you're gonna stick it through the overhand loop that you just made now you're gonna insert your toggle right here and then you're gonna go ahead and pull now the, the toggle is made so that you can quickly disconnect it, that you can quickly turn, uh, you can undo it and it'll come undone. And so this is very good when it comes to ridge lines and other applications, but I mainly use it for ridge lines on my tarp whenever I'm setting up a shelter. So let's go ahead and do that again. We're gonna put that and pull this right through the loop, the overhand loop, and we're gonna stick, stick the toggle in. Now that is secure. So we're gonna keep that just like that. Now let's go to the other side of the tree. We're gonna do the trucker hitch. Now all these knots work together and we're gonna progressively go further with each knot. Now we're gonna do the trucker hitch, okay? Now essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this back onto itself like so. All right, we're gonna come up here and turn this back onto itself and then reach through and pull, all right? So you made a loop. See how we made that loop? Now you're gonna take your other end of your string and you're gonna pull it around your tree and then inside that loop, just like that. Slides, all right. Now, what a lot of commenters have said is what they do is they bring this end of string around the tree and it keeps it more secure. And then they just tie a little half hitch here to keep it from going anywhere. Come on, work with me. This string is not the funnest to work with. Okay. Now this is, we're gonna take our other string and double it over, all right? You double your string over like that and pull your string through. And then that is called a cow hitch, okay? You can hook up, hang things, do whatever. This is used a lot whenever you're trot line fishing or uh, you're using catching catfish or whatnot. I've used this a million times. And you just put a hook on the end of it and that fish can run that line back and forth and it's not gonna break your line whatsoever. Now, we'll take and make the Prussic King knot. All right, so now we're gonna double our rope over and I'm gonna tie an overhand knot in the end of it. And essentially I'm gonna make a loop just like this. I got a loop of paracord here, okay? So now you're gonna take your loop and you're gonna lay it over your string. One, two, three, four, and five. 
and then we're going to run our loop back through here like that and then pull it this way now what that does is it locks onto the string it's not going to slide anywhere and climbers use this uh i had a commenter that left a message on there saying he uses this every day making cell phone towers and basically way up there and this is how they just hold on for dear life that knot is not that knot is not going anywhere <laughs> so now we're going to take that and we're going to make what's called the prussic knot okay so you take your loop you come over you pull your rope through and you come over again and you pull your rope through now I've used this knot a lot for fishing. Now you pull it over again and you pull your rope through just like that. And then you just pull it down and just dress your knot up. All right. So now you have what's called the Prusik knot. Now, a lot of people use this for the tarts for their shelters and tents and stuff like that. It will bind down with pressure, but you can move this knot anywhere you want to do it. And the same way with the Prusik King knot, I forgot to demonstrate that, you can move that knot up and down this rope, just like that, okay? So, so far we did the overhand knot, we did the Marline Spike Hitch, uh, we did the uh, truckers, trucker's Hitch, we did the Cow Hitch, we did the Prusik King, and we did the Prusik. All right, now we're gonna do another one. Let's see what else we gotta do. All right, we're gonna do one that's relatively simple and we gotta untie all this good stuff. We're gonna do the jam knot, all right? A lot of people call it Canadian jam knot, whatever. Uh, there's a million different names for a million different things. Uh, and once again, it's gonna go back to the first knot we did, which is the overhand knot. We're gonna go ahead and tie an overhand knot in the end of your string right here, all right? So we tied a overhand knot in this string right here Okay, so now that we're gonna go around what we need to tie off, we're gonna come here and we're just gonna do another overhand knot again, right here. Pull it tight, and then that is gonna cinch down and tighten up. You saw how this knot tightened into that? Well, this is gonna be called a stopper knot, and it's gonna keep this from coming undone. Okay, so this knot right here, this is called the jam knot, and it's very effective for ridge lines or whatnot, and uh, other applications as well. You can use this at the top of your tripod to hold up your pots and your food and stuff like that. So now we're going to do a basic clove hitch, okay? So, and remember, I'm tying this backwards, so, all right, so you come around, you come over, and then back through just like that and you have basic clove hitch and this is used for lashings and such it's used for endpoints whenever you're lashing tying stuff off like that if you've been in the boy scouts everybody knows how to tie this knot but we're going to take this knot one step further and we're going to turn it into a constrictor knot which is uh, stronger than the clove hitch and it is somewhat hard to untie we're going to bring your string around again and we're gonna do another clove hitch, all right? This one is kind of loose, but this time we're gonna take this end of the string and tuck it under here on this piece right here. Just like that. And then we're gonna pull it tight. So when you get done with this, this is called the constrictor knot. So the more you put pressure on here, the tighter it's going to get. This knot is not going to go nowhere. All right. And a lot of times in order to cut it, and I mean to untie it, you're going to have to cut it right here on this top piece. So that would save you the most string if you was to cut this knot, if you can't get it undone. And it works real well with paracord because paracord, it just really compresses real well. So I didn't tie it too tight, so we're going to be able to get it undone, I hope. This is a knot that you use very good, very well for uh, 
ridge lines and marline spike hitches okay so you want to twist the knot till it turns around on itself like that well hold on let's do it this way twist the knot till it turns around on itself and give me a little room here to play with all right and then y'all everybody's heard the rabbit goes through the hole and then comes around the tree and then back down through the hole and then you just pull and that is basically that's the bowling or bowline and there's always a war on how you pronounce it okay and this is real good by putting something around and putting a toggle through and making a spark marline spike hitch okay so you can put this through here and make a marline spike hitch like i said in the beginning this was going to be a very quick uh down and dirty knots and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if anybody's got any questions, hey, leave me a comment below. And I usually get back to all the comments, or I try to, anyway. So, but anyhow, uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. God bless you, and I'll see you next.